Hey everybody, it's Kevin from 3D Printed Props. In today's video, we're gonna be putting together DO3D's Iron Man Infinity Gauntlet. Hey everybody, again, this is the DO3D Infinity Gauntlet. Um, I wanted to go for something different here. I printed um, the one that was post snap. So uh, spoilers, this is after it gets snapped and it looks all destroyed. So I weathered it up and really made it look beaten up and destroyed. Uh, that's why some of the gems are a little um, not super bright. No, it's only because I, I hadn't made molds. Uh, this is my third time making a mold and the um i wasn't sure how much uh, colorant to put in so they got way too dark so but i'm going with they they took a lot of damage so yeah this was a really fun build do 3d uh, head over to their site check it out a lot of people ask me how do i download these files how do i get these files from do 3d you email them the name of the file that you want and they will email you back a price and a PayPal link and if you want to purchase it you can purchase it if not you don't so that's how you get it so let's go down to the workshop and take a look at how I put this guy together okay so I've gone ahead and sanded and primed this and put some filler in it and I'm gonna chrome it and this is the same chrome paint I used when I did Red Hood because the automotive paint I use uh, needs to be on a chrome and this is uh, one that was recommended now before you spray don't forget put on your respirator because this stuff is really smelly. I don't know if it's because it's the metallic or whatnot, but uh, this automotive paint really is pretty noxious. So I'm just going over that chrome and light, light coats because this stuff really pools up if you don't. And now just peeling off some of the tape to show that nice chrome color left behind. Now, of course, you're looking at it and you're saying uh, it looks mangled or whatnot. Remember, this is the post snap glove okay so now I'm back at the home shop and I actually went ahead and um, molded these gems and that'll be a video uh, in a couple weeks and what I did was I drilled holes in the glove and then put the chips in and then I went back with a drill and drilled into the actual gems a bit uh, so this way uh, when I put the LED in there they would actually be in the gem so I'm going to go ahead and take a little break from the wiring and I did some uh, of my favorite, which is weathering. Now, again, this is post snap. So he's been in the muck, he's been in the grime and he is, uh, this thing is, this thing is destroyed. Uh, and that's what we're going to make it look like. So of course you want to find all the cracks and crevices and you know, I'm just using uh, a regular paintbrush and it's pretty wet and I'm letting it sit for a bit and then taking some of the paint off. You gotta be careful, you don't take all of it off or you've just defeated the purpose. And then I'm thinking to myself, do I need to put it on some of the gems? Uh, I think I will, especially like on the yellow one, uh, they'd get dirty too. And as you can see, it's really starting to look like it's uh, it's been in the grime and it's been fighting Thanos and I'm using some black or a lot of black but I'm also using sort of a burnt sienna and some other types of browns and really giving it that grimy look I mean because it matches the look of the actual modeling of the gauntlet right this is the the post snap gauntlet so uh, whoever modeled this it's really I got it from of course do 3d I'm not sure who the modeler was and uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and add some more little highlights and touch-ups with sort of this orangey sort of burnt sienna color to to you know just give it another little bit of dimension and then it's time to work on some fingers now the do 3d file comes with these uh 3d printed sort of finger inserts but i wanted it to have a little bit of a bend so this is just one millimeter foam with a gold spray paint on it and in this way uh, things will be able to fit on there and I can still get a little bit of motion out of it. So that's what I did. I went ahead and used that. Now, I didn't show the wiring because it's fairly tedious. I just wired them all positive, positive, negative, negative, and then continued the cable out. I also put on a connector so onto the battery pack and onto the gauntlet so I can take it on and off. 
and of course you see the rubber glove I needed um, you know it's a move I needed some you know flexibility so I painted this glove sil or gold and it slides through the gauntlet and uh, the fingers go into it and I'm able to move my fingers and move my hand uh, it's the only way I can figure out how to do it and I think it works pretty good it looks kind of silly I looked ridiculous in my driveway painting this glove when it was on me but I really am happy with how it turned out as you can see you just see slivers of the rubber glove and it's it's golden looking and dirty so it really fits um, super happy with it and I need to work out my formula a little bit better for those gems I'll probably recast them so they're a little bit more translucent but couldn't be more happy well hey everybody that was the build I'm gonna be doing another um sort of part, not part two, but a little offshoot of this build where I'm just showing how I um, molded the infinity gems. Uh, I'm loving doing some molding, so it's really, really been fun. Again, go over to DO3D to check this out. Super easy file to print uh, and make work. I'm really digging it. Uh, I had to put my finger back on because it came off. But uh, yeah, check it out, DO3D's files. Uh, this has been a fun one between the electronics the gems, I had a blast. Again, printed 100% uh, ZL Tech filament. So check out the link and the coupon code in the description below to get 15% off pretty much anything on their site, but especially filament. Of course, that's an affiliate link. If you purchase from there, helps me out. I can get some more filament. Uh, again, I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks a lot. Thank <laughs> you.